Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Pat Gualtieri and I'm the president of the Peripheral Neuropathy Support Network. We're here in Alexandria, Virginia today at Mobility City, uh, a store owned by Mr. Bennett Healthcott. Healthcott and uh, he sells and rents both mobility equipment and assistive devices. Um, Bennett will be talking to you in just a minute. We're also joined by Diva Parikh, who you'll meet in another minute. And Diva is a member of the Virginia DC uh, local support group for peripheral neuropathy. And she has graciously uh, agreed to be a model customer and go around the store with Bennett to investigate and explore some of the equipment and devices that he has available for both sale and rent. Over the years, I've helped several family members with all kinds of illnesses and this franchise came up and I fell in love with it and I bought it. The store has been here three years and um, it's growing on a weekly uh, basis and we're here to help people. We also, we repair, clean all kinds of scooter, lift chairs, hospital beds, power chairs, wheelchairs. So we sell them, we repair them, we clean them, and we rent them. Hi, I'm Diva. Um, I have peripheral neuropathy, specifically small fiber and autonomic. Um, and I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, so um, I'm here to deal with um, one, the fact that I have low blood pressure and I pass out a lot. Um, so, yeah, I like I want to avoid falling. And then two, because of hypermobility and my ligaments being loose, I sometimes dislocate things. So that's where, um, you know, some of this stuff could help. Um, for walking, I use these. These are hiking poles, um, but, you know, I have trouble standing so it you know could be nice to have something that's more supportive while standing because these don't really do much for me while standing um, excellent so maybe yeah. bennett can show us some grab bars something that will help you in terms of falling or potentially fainting in the bathroom we mentioned that bennett would you like to show us uh, some of your equipment sure so we're going to go around the store and i'm sure all of you that are watching something's going to catch your eye and you can call me you can pick my brains um i've become more of a social worker um and case manager uh in this business as well as a store owner and i help a lot a lot of people so over here on the right we are at my we have lift chairs so the lift chairs are rentable and I also sell them. And basically, I'm sure you all know what a lift chair is. It's a lift recliner. So it's a, a plush, luxurious, beautiful chair that comes with uh, headrest that moves on its own. So if the chair goes back, you can have a pillow. It has lumbar. The back um, operates independently from the feet. Okay, and then People have a problem getting up and, and can't get on their feet on their own. This will put you on your feet. Uh, a lot of people rent these when they're having shoulder surgery, uh, hip surgery. A lot of people just sleep in these. They buy them to sleep in. All right. So we have all different kinds. We have, uh, they're not really leather, they're vinyl leather. And then we have cloth. Um, we also have tables that fit under and also um, a swing away and also assist you uh, in getting up. And these go under the legs. Okay, so we have uh, lift chair tables and then we have hospital bed uh, tables as well. We have this one, which is kind of a upscale hospital bed table it's on the large side but it fits right under the hospital bed and what is this stand up uh, so piece here? um this is a new item i got it's called the retro Re return 7500 so it's a sit to stand lift so people the people who can use this they need to be able to stand on their feet 
and pull with their arms, but they can't walk. People who can't walk and they need to be transferred, it goes in to the bathroom, it'll go to up to a chair, the person gets on it, okay, he pulls himself up, and we have a strap. If they're not really steady on their feet and we're afraid they're not gonna be able to hold themselves up, there's a belt and it hooks right on here. Very economical, it's got brakes here, so it doesn't move. Um, you know, we have the big um, manual sit-to-stand lift, which is this, and then you have the electric sit-to-stand lift mm -hmm. that um, people need. Um, the sit-to-stand lift that's electric, you put the strap around their waist, and they hold on to the bars, and it helps pull them up. This is for people who can pull them, themselves up who still but have can't the strength. walk. Yes, okay. okay? We have uh, manual uh, Hoyer lifts with slings. What is a Hoyer lift? A Hoyer lift is for a person who cannot get out of bed mm -hmm. on his own, who can't get out of a chair on his own, whether okay. he's paralyzed or MS or just they're, they're bed bound okay. and they need help getting out. Um, and then Perhaps we have we're a ready. bunch of other things uh, in the store. Um, we have we sell grab bars for for the shower. We sell uh, sock aids to help you get your socks on. Um, so how do those actually work? Um, so it you put the sock on and it's oh. and you pull it up. It helps you pull it up. So if you can't yeah. get low enough, yeah. it'll help you pull it up. Is so, that for compression socks or any nah, socks? I'm not sure whether it's for compression socks. Okay. Compression stock socks are tough to get on. Um, this is, I think, just for regular cotton socks. Okay. We have um, these hook onto zippers that are small, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it helps you pull pull up your uh, zippers. We have uh, suction cup grab bars Ooh. that you can put in the shower. Do you feel comfortable with them if they're not installed in the tile? Because we didn't add it when we did our bathroom and now we're wondering, are they these work. suction cups? They work. They My father work. at a young age had these in his shower and I'm like, oh, what's he doing with this? But it's something to hold on to. Um, and it's an easy install and they're not expensive. I think, Diva has a yeah, question. I think that could be not a question, more of a comment. I think that could be helpful for me because I live, I rent, so. Yeah, you um, don't have to pay. Wanna, like, so you could buy these. Yeah. You know, you can buy them from me. Yeah. Everybody likes to buy online. Uh, that's my biggest competitor, but you got me to come to, talk to face to face. You can try it out. Anything in the store you can try out. A lot of people would rather come and see me and talk to me and pick my brains. Um, I have three years in this business. I learn every single day uh, about something else and I'm a wealth of knowledge. So people like to come in and I just had a customer in here. She was in here an hour and a half with her family and she sat in every chair until she found every, uh, a scooter or power chair until she found one that fit her and she found one that fit her. Okay. So over here, we have a combination of things. We have rollators. I have all kinds of rollators. I have nitro rollators. I have your aluminum, just walkers. I have Medline uh, uh, rollators and power rollators. I have drive duet rollators. This is a rollator. It also serves as a, almost like a wheelchair, but not quite, okay? So this folds up back like this. Okay, it's stuck. But anyway, it folds back in. So that usually folds in. And this, so people can walk with this as a rollator. When they get tired, they put the brakes down and they can sit on it, okay, and just stay. Then, if they're too tired to keep walking, they take this out, put it in here. You pull out the leg rests. You pull up the arms. They walk around here. They sit in it. 
and then they can be pushed around. This isn't a long-term solution. This is going to the mall, going to a restaurant. It's just short-term, um, for short-term use. Okay. And you always want to make sure the locks are down. And somebody should be either in front of it or behind it because the brakes only work on the back. So it still can move. You got to be careful with these things. Okay. We're all about safety. Um, I rent all types of wheelchairs and transport chairs. Um, transport chair is a big mover. Um, it's light. It's 15 pounds. Transport chair can be rented for a day, a week, oh, a month. Oh, that's excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, I rent more transport chairs than I do wheelchairs because they're lighter. These are 15, 20 pounds as opposed to the wheelchairs that are 40 pounds. Right, so easier to put in your trunk. Easier for anybody to put in their trunk. It folds up like this and there you go. It goes right in there. And good for vacations and yep. things. Yep. Yeah, yep. that's a good point too, To Dita. take on the plane. Um, we have all types of wheelchairs. Oh, okay. And so let's just go over here. Mm -hmm. So these are all wheelchairs that I sell. I tried, I pride myself on my wheelchairs. I have three companies that I buy wheelchairs from and nobody else. I buy chairs from Medline, I buy chairs from Drive, I buy chairs from Pro Basics. Oh yes, and I forgot the strong back wheelchair. So the strong back wheelchair is made in Sweden. Okay, we open the chair like that. It's made in Sweden. It's, um, very, very light, okay? Um, this thing is maybe 15 pounds. A little pricey, but it's got an ergonomic back, mm. okay? It folds like this, and the propulsion on this is like no other wheelchair. You, you really move in this. And for the caregiver who has to put it in and out of the car, it weighs practically nothing. It's maybe 15 pounds. Again, it's well made, it's made in Sweden. We have it in a transport chair and we have it in a regular wheelchair. And the beauty of this is the wheels pop off so you can make it even lighter. Oh, wow. And put it in the car and just <laughs> pop the, uh, the wheel right back on. So I'm sure the first question is, uh, is insurance. Will insurance pay for that? This is considered a luxury and it will not be paid by the insurance. Maybe, maybe you buy it, you get a receipt and you give it to your secondary insurance and they might give you something on, on something back. But this is considered a luxury and it's not covered under insurance. Okay. I also have many, many transport chairs here all kinds. I have the big wheel transport chairs. I have the small wheel transport chairs. And again, it's a big, big mover for taking your loved one to dinner, taking them to the doctor. Every, every week you got three or four doctor's appointments. This chair is about 15, 20 pounds. It's light. The legs come off. It fits right in the back of the car or in the trunk. This will go between your back seat and your front seat, right in the foot area. Mm -hmm. Folds down like this, and then uh, when you get out, you can fold it back up, and you can put the leg rest on it. Um, so it's something to think about if you got a lot of doctor's appointments. What should we know about scooters? Scooters, okay. So there's all different types of scooters. I sell, I sell reputable name scooters. I work with Drive. I work with Pride, I work with Golden, I work with Merit, and I work with um, Journey Health. So I have all types of scooters. It's up to the patient on what they want. Some people prefer the scooter and the, uh, and the, the tiller in front of them, which this is the tiller, this is the seat. The scooters, most of these break down. You take the seat off, you take the battery off, you take the wheels off, 
and you have four pieces at about 25 pounds each. Hmm. It takes five minutes to take it apart and five minutes to put back together, not even. Okay, so these all, all the scooters, most of them break down. Now the bigger ones don't. Uh -huh. So we have scooters and we have mini power chairs. This happens to be a Pride Go-Go. This is a Merit Easy Go. And they all break down. Now the mini scooter, mini power chairs are operated with a joystick as opposed to a tiller and the um, speed control on the tiller itself. So if you're in a smaller apartment or a smaller space, what would you recommend? So on a smaller apartment, I recommend one of these. Okay, back at the wheelchairs. Yep. Go ahead, you had so a question. So a question that I had was um, Six Flags Disney Museums very often like I'll either rent the cheap wheelchairs or get a free one and uh, my hip ends up really hurting uh, after that because it's like the the support is nothing so um like is there are there any rentals that have better support so if i'm you first of all it's really important that they size you whenever you're buying something it needs to be sized it's not one size fits all all our waists and our hips are different so wheelchairs, 16 inch, 18 inch, 20 inch, 22 inch, 24 inch. So you need to make sure you get fitted for it. You don't. You want at least two inches on either side of your hips when you're in a wheelchair. You don't want to be squished in there like a yeah. sardine. Um, some of the chairs are more comfortable than others. This one is just a vinyl chair. This is an um, uh, antimicrobacterial product that that helps if you drop if you it, you can wipe it down and get rid of the yeah. germs but if i'm you i buy a i buy a gel foam cushion yeah that you can take with you when you rent these chairs oh, yeah. i there are some chairs that are more comfortable than others mm -hmm. but when you're renting them the rental places aren't going to have yeah, the selection they, do, yeah. they go with the, the cheaper that they can make money with mm -hmm. and so uh, my hips hurt too sometimes when I sit in these things um, so I would just get a, a gel foam cushion unfortunately you got to take it with you but it might help and yeah. you know I would try one out I would you know come to the store try one out and say hmm this might work or no that's not going to work mm -hmm. And you got to make sure they're giving you the right size. They should yeah. be asking you your weight and your height when you rent yeah. so that they know, okay, she needs a 16 inch chair. I don't think you need any bigger than 16 inch. And You're petite. So. In terms of height, like, is there, um, I didn't know height was a factor because I, I do recognize even when I'm sitting in a desk chair that like my, when my feet don't touch the floor, it's, it puts a strain on my head. Right. So, so yeah, it, um, the leg rests on the wheelchairs are adjustable. So you need to ask them to adjust it or you need to adjust it yourself. Okay. But if they ask me to adjust it, I adjust it for them because that's what we're in business yeah. for, to help people, not to make it uh, more difficult on them. Yeah. And, so, um, and in terms of like those cushions, could, could they be used on just like office Anything, and stuff? anything. You could take yeah. that cushion anywhere. It doesn't have to be used in a wheelchair. And... I deal with um, a company called Proactive. Proactive is a large cushion maker, and you guys can go online and look at what you think you need, or if you have any questions, then you can call me and I can uh, lead you in the right direction. There are Rojo cushions, which are $500 or better. There's Proactive, which is pretty reasonable. They're not high-end cushions, but they're good cushions. And this is it. See, it's uh, Proactive. That's the company, Proactive. Okay. Okay. Um, so you could get these, you could get 
back cushions, you can get seat cushions. Mm. Um, the yeah. foam gel could go on any chair. Yeah. doesn't have to be locked into no, one I'm, thing. Um, they're actually trying to slowly get us back to the office, so I think something like that yeah. could just be useful for the desk. You know, get a good yeah. ergonomic for your back, and yeah. then just get a cushion for the bottom. Yeah, because obviously be I can't bring in my own chair, but no. I could bring in my own cushion. Yeah, well, make sure if they yeah. get your chair, make sure they get you a good one. And with all of us Zooming so long and so often, yeah. that could be a factor too uh, yeah. i was thinking for yeah. my chair yeah. do yeah. we want to move to bathroom um oh, oh uh, yeah so um so basically uh i represent a lot of companies with uh toilet risers commodes um shower shower chairs they're all different kinds of shower chairs there's thousands of them out there i represent platinum health which is padded shower chairs with on wheels these are just your simple uh, back and no back shower chairs. I got a shower chair with handles. These are all commodes. They're very cheap. They're inexpensive. Therefore, people who just come out of surgery and they don't want to um, do what they got to do in their bed and they can't make it to the bathroom. So we put a commode by their bed um, with each commode. I give them a box of uh, liners. Liners. So, you know, this comes with the commode. So nobody has to do anything. Just throw the liner out when they're done. Um, there are a bunch of different toilet risers. Um, you know. What so is a walker tray? A walker tray for the aluminum walkers. Here, I'll show you. I have, did my wife take it off? No, it's on. So this tray... This aluminum walker, okay. Oh, I see. Has a tray on it. Oh, very nice. Okay, so that's aluminum tray walker. I also have a rollator here that people can use in their homes, okay, if they have dinner and they want to bring the dinner into the living room. There's a tray on the walker. Um, so it's made by Stander. And we're going to go into the standard product next. But this is for, you can put your ketchup, your salt, your your knife and stuff in here. You put your drink and your food and you can walk this right into your uh, living room and uh, have your dinner. Very nice. Um, this actually sounds really helpful because yes. I have dropped things. Of course, absolutely. So did this yeah. company here, this is standard. Standard, be independent. Um, so I'm sure you all have seen these. These are all, these are for the car. You know, a lot of we, us can't get out of the car as we get older. There's a hoop on the inside of the car door. You put this in and use this as a handle to support yourself and get yourself out of the car. They have one that is a flashlight, and then they have just this one. So that's that's a, a Love big. It. The name of the company is Stander. Um, they also, um, when you go to places um, and you see people can't get out of their, uh, out of their chair, um, and you see the caregiver grabbing at the back of their pants and pulling their pants up around their shoulders, got to be uncomfortable. And they also, you know, grab you under your shoulders. Um, if if they have enough strength to grab this and they're sitting down, grab that, okay? Between the both of us, if you're sitting down, I can pull, help uh, you, yeah. but you need to help me. I'm not going to do it all myself and pull yourself up. And it, it takes the strain off the back of the arms and the back of your pants. Um, this is called the handy handle. Okay, so we got that. Um, we also have the easy swivel seat cushion. So if you're in the car and, you, and, and your cloth is rubbing against the cloth in the car and you don't swivel as easy as you should, that's, uh, that's what that. Uh, that's what that is. It just swivels. It's very smooth. We also have car caddy, which you can put on the inside of the door to help you get out of the car as well as this. So you have one hand for that and one hand for this. It's called the car caddy. Um, what else? Actually, this this thing, um, 
I think could be really helpful for me because um, if I'm ever at a friend's house and there aren't enough places to sit and I'm sitting on the floor, everything goes numb. <laughs> and then I like if I need help getting up because everything's numb, people pull at my hands and then my shoulders dislocate. So this could help me just keep my elbows in and still like get helped up. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. You just have yeah, to remember it, it, to yeah. take it with you. Yeah, I mean, this yeah. could fit in my little little pink backpack. So Stander also makes an assist tray that fits under couches. And the couch is set on it, and it's got the handle to help you get in and out of, uh, in and out if you want. And you've got the tray that swivels. They also make um, a bunch of uh, rails for the bed. That goes under your um, mattress. mattress. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got the bigger ones. Um, what else do we got? We have, and then we have uh, smaller ones, uh, like like this. Oh yeah. This is half the size. All right, and then there's one this size that fits under the bed as well. Okay. So they make all kinds of stuff like that. Um, it's a really, really good company. We wanted to go to the grab bars, okay? So it's just, there's no construction really on this. It's put in up here. It's, it's snug, snugly put in here and put up there. And so you could do it yourself. You yeah. don't need professional no, installation. No, I do it. I do the install. I see. And it comes with a wrench and you just tighten. The beauty of this is you can put it by the couch and the person can, and it can, in between a couch and a chair, this swivels. So if you have somebody sitting in a couch here, they can use it. And if there's a chair on the other side, you just swivel it and they use this to get up. Right. The other thing is in the bathroom. We're all getting older. The bathroom is hazardous because we can slip. Um, this could go in between the toilet and the uh, the toilet and the shower. Okay, so when you're in the shower, you could be holding on to this or hold on to it when you get out. Um, and then if you're on the toilet, you could just swing it around and just hold. Use this to help you get up off the ground. Mm -hmm. It's not astronomical, um, and it's easy to put in, and uh, it'll help you. All the stuff in here, a lot of people don't want to admit that they need the help, okay? And there's nothing to be ashamed about coming in here and asking for help. I deal with it on a daily basis. And some people come in here and they're very hesitant. They don't want it, they don't want it, they don't want it. We sit, we talk, we go over everything, and then they wind up getting whatever they need right. to uh, get them through the day. Mm -hmm. As we get older, we slip, we fall, we lose our balance. Um, I, I, I get so many different types of people in here every day that need help. Okay, um, I have one last question, Bennett. Uh, my dad had a stroke and was paralyzed and we had issues with a ramp and my poor mother killed herself trying to get him in and out of the car. So if you would talk about this a little bit, I, I, this caught my eye. So, um, first of all, the caregiver always is paying the price. That's right. Not the patient, but the caregiver. We have to worry about the caregivers because without the caregivers, the patients are in big trouble. So we always need to take care of the caregivers. So we have all kinds of ramps. Um, nowadays, we don't really, I don't really see too many ramps that we put scooters in the car with. We either have um, lifts, which I represent Harmar lifts, which you can put your scooters on the back. You just drive it on, you hit a button, it raises it and it locks it in. There, you can also buy a ramp like this. I deal with easy access, I deal with uh, Prairie View, I deal with access for you. So at our homes, 
People call me all the time, they want ramps, okay? The first thing you need to do is, I need the height of the steps. Per law, ADA law, one inch of step equals one foot of ramp. And why is it like that? The pitch, if you get a, if you have six, six inch steps and you buy a three foot ramp for those six inch steps, you're going to be like this, trying to get the loved one up and down the ramp and it's not safe. It's all about safety. So they have suitcase ramps that fold and then fold again. So they fold in the middle and then they fold in half. And, um, Hold on, I'm gonna get you one. Don't go anywhere. I wonder how much they weigh because my mother is as small as I am. And I think it would, would be an effort for her, but compared to trying to get him in and out of the wheelchair without help, it would probably be worth it. So this is a four foot, or maybe a five foot suitcase ramp. Okay, it's just like a suitcase. They lock in and you can pick it up and carry it like this, oh, wow. okay? Mm -hmm. But you need to measure and you need to do it right. If you, have, if you have six feet of stairs, you need a six foot ramp. If you have four stairs and they're normally four to six inches each. So let's say four times or 16. If you have 16 inches of stairs, you need 16 feet of ramp wow. because of the pitch. I see. And then if it's if it's like 20, yeah. 20 inch stairs, you gotta get a modular. Okay, my mom would have needed that. With rails. It's just impossible to get the loved one up and then down safely. Okay. So ramps are a very touchy business. And speaking of uh, toilet risers, that's a toilet riser. They're automated and it lifts you up right on your feet. Wow. And, and then you have smaller ramps for the front door. If it's two, three inches, you can get these. Mm -hmm. You know, those are for the smaller lips yeah, that when you push the wheelchair over, it'll, it, it hits that lip and you can't go anywhere and you gotta pull it back a little. Mm -hmm. This'll go right on that uh, lip of that door you can get them in rubber and you can get them in metal. Okay. Well, great. That answered my question. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, friends. I think that is a wrap. And uh, thank we you look all. forward to questions from the audience next. Uh, both Eva and uh, Bennett will be available if you have questions. Thank you. Thank you.